here all we need to do is undo this bolt and a bolt down here then the air mass meter will come away and we need to go through each of the gears for 20 seconds and then back again in each gear 20 seconds put that somewhere safe so we don't lose it so I'll let that drain out Hello and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video. Today we're going to be changing the gearbox oil and the filter on a 2013 Ford C-Max with the MPS6 power shift gearbox. Okay, so this is a 2013 Ford C-Max with a 2.0-litre diesel engine with the MPS6 power shift gearbox. Um, the oil change intervals on these are roughly around about three years, 37,000 miles, uh, but always check the service documentation for the correct service intervals. So, first thing we need to do is set the airbox off and let's get it started. Right guys, so underneath the bonnet now and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the air box. This is the air box here. All we need to do is undo this bolt and a bolt down here. Then the air mass meter will come away. So let's get my... Actually, while we're at it, just found this on a car earlier on. Nice snap-on ratchet. Found on a transit in a scuttle area. Well, look at me, I've got the wrong socket. Just one second. Right, back in the room. Yeah, I was doing a job on a transit, um, being fetched to us via Ford Fleet from another dealership that couldn't fix it or didn't have the time to fix it. And the mechanic there has uh, kindly left me a ratchet. So if you're watching this and you've lost a ratchet, then unfortunately it's your loss, my gain. I've fixed the fault that you couldn't. And whilst we're on the topic of um, AdBlue issues and DPF issues, you may notice that I don't do videos on them. Um, I could, I do quite a few, but unfortunately with DPF and uh, SCR issues, I tend to get a few uh, nasty emails. Hello, I hope you're doing okay, sat there in your cave. Um, and then it just becomes a bit of a cock off, basically. Everybody comes wading in, what slinging the dicks about, basically saying this and that, and I do this and I do that, and this value's right and that value's right. So that's why I basically don't do SCR videos or DPFs. Anyway, that's that out of the way. So let's just get this air box out. This is a tight one. Right, that's that out. Okay, so we've got the airbox off. We're now sat inside the car. So what we need to do now is start the engine up. Let's start it up. And we need to go through each of the gears for 20 seconds and then back again in each gear 20 seconds as part of the process. So put it into reverse and we wait for 20 seconds. It's a good opportunity to probably just sit here and catch up on your text messages or have a quick look on Facebook, eBay, um, YouTube, or what I like to do, I like to do my nails. Nice pink nails today. Still got this hand to do. They look pretty nice, don't they? So, that's our 20 seconds in reverse. We'll have 20 seconds in neutral. Anyway, you get the gist. What I'm going to do, 20 seconds in each gear, pop it across into the Tiptronic side of things, then all the way back. And once it's all finished, put it back into park, go back underneath the bonnet, and we'll take off the drain, the uh, filler bung. So that's all the gear's gone through, and we're back in park, so we can turn the engine off and go take out the, the filler bung. And where we need to be, let me just move the camera. Let me just zoom in for you. Is this bolt here, I'll undo it, I'll clean the area up first, 8mm Allen key, take that out, that's the filler bung, we also vents um, whilst we're draining the, 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 I was going to call it DSG then, the MPS6 uh, power shift box, so let me just go get a ratchet and an 8mm socket. 
Okay, so I've repositioned the camera and we've got a, where is it? 8mm Allen key. Just put it in there. Oh, I'm doing crap at this and I keep getting the wrong stuff. That's a 10. What a wally. Right, we've got an 8 back in the room. Okay. Let's undo that. That wasn't that tight. Put that somewhere safe so we don't lose it. What we need to do now is put the vehicle up in the air, remove the under tray and drain the gearbox. There's two drain bungs on these um, because there's two chambers within the gearbox. There's the front chamber and the back chamber. Two separate drain bungs so we have to remove them one at a time to drain all the oil. Right, so we've got the vehicle up in the air, the under tray is now off, and we've got two drain bungs. One here, and just hold the camera, one just here. As I said previously, two chambers inside the gearbox, two drain plugs. So what we need to do now, remove this 8mm Allen key and drain the oil. Okay, so using the 8mm Allen key, just crack the nut off, carefully remove it. Remember this oil is at temperature, so it is quite warm. We don't want covered in hot oil, after all we're not storming a castle. Uh, so let's, there we go. It's uh, looking discoloured, let's leave it at that. So I'll let that drain out. I think I've got enough room with this oil drainer to drain them both at once. So I'll just reposition the camera one minute. There we go, reposition the camera. Let's just hope I've just got enough room. There, so that's both chambers now draining at once. So I'll let that drain out until it stops. Then we'll put the bungs back in and torque them up to 43 newton meters. Okay, so both chambers are now empty, they've stopped dripping. Um, what we do, get it on the screen where we are. We've got the bungs, hard to see on the video, but we, there's little O-rings on the uh, bungs themselves. Check the O-rings, make sure they're all okay, which these are. And put the bungs back in the holes. Right-handed, get it in first time. One in, pop the second one in. And as I said previously, we talk them up 43 newtons That's both of them done quick clean up with a bit of uh, rake cleaner and next job then is to change the filter Right, so we're going to change the oil filter now. Uh, this is the oil filter here. What I've got, there's a little tab on the side of it, which I'll show in a picture, that um, works on the serrated edges to keep it locked in position. So I've got a screwdriver in there just holding it off. 
Luckily on this particular vehicle there isn't a cross beam going across here to obstruct getting the filter out so I don't need to use a wobbly joint. So what we need is a 32 mil socket and we can then just crack the filter off I'll take my screwdriver out. What I'll do, I'll show you a picture of that uh, what you need to do excuse me there, I've just knocked the uh, oil drainer and we just take the filter off be careful because there is a little bit of oil in there still and as we can see the filter is pretty sludged up so it's well past its uh, sell by date and in fact I think it's about 30,000 miles over its uh, service interval so what we'll do now we'll get the new filter out and we'll pop it on okay so this is the new filter genuine Ford filter comes with a new housing and a new seal on there that's the filter that's the top of the filter what we first do we get the oil just put a little bit of oil in there we need to get the right oil obviously and it's got a spec so the spec is WSS MC sorry WSS M2 C936-A that's the correct oil and we just put just a little bit fill it up about a third slowly pop the filter in let it sink down and then just get a fresh bit of oil on your finger just go around put some oil on the seal and then we can fit the filter and torque it up to 15 newton meters so now we've got the fresh uh, filter we just screw it back up there and then we can torque it up to 15 newton meters using our 32 mil socket as you can hear that's clicked off at 15 newton meters so now what we need to do is just fill the oil level up in the gearbox okay so I've got my uh, filler rigged up what we've got is just a, a spout going up into a pipe with a funnel that holds about two or three liters of fluid so I'll just put the camera on its stand and let's get some uh, fluid into the gearbox okay so we start with adding the oil uh, obviously as I said before it's uh, genuine Ford oil and we put six liters in So that's the first litre, I'm sure you don't need to see me fitting all six litres in it. So what I'll do, I'll fit it all in and then I'll come back a little bit later on. Okay, so all the oil has been put in now. So what we do, we take the filler out and we loosely put the bung back in as my ramp drops an inch. Just loosely put it in, we're not going to torque it up yet because the process we follow now for checking the oil level we do need to put oil back in it so that's just loosely back in and what we do now we start the engine up and as before we go through every gear for 20 seconds uh, and then we go and uh, check the level so let's get inside the car okay so just as before we start the engine up and we go through each of the gears for 20 seconds, pop across into Tiptronic, push it forward for 20 seconds, push it back for 20 seconds, back across into drive, 20 seconds, all the way back up to park, just as before. So, just like the last time, I don't need to show you this now, you know the drill. I'm not gonna do my nails, I'm not gonna mess around with Facebook or anything like that, just gonna get on with the job. So, let's pop it into reverse, and I'll see you once we're finished. Okay, so we move it back into park now. Just give it a few seconds. And now we can turn the engine off, go underneath and start to check the level. So I'll turn the engine off and let's go underneath the vehicle. 
Right, so we've cleaned the area off. The drain bung is just there at the end of my finger. And what we do, a bit tricky, put an eight mil Allen key in there. Knock the light out of the way. Crack the nut off. And then we can drain the uh, excess fluid into a clean container. Here's a container I prepared earlier, one that I've had made to my specifications. <laughs> and let's just remove the drain bung and catch the excess oil. So that's the excess oil coming out. And once it's turned into a drip, Right, so as you can probably see at the bottom of the screen here, we've just turned from a stream of fluid into a drip. So what we can do now, um, just measure how much oil that's come out of it, and we can then start putting the oil back into the filler bung uh, in 250 mil increments until it starts dripping out again. And then what's happened then, as you can see by the graphic, the chamber one has been filled, it overflows into chamber two, and then once it starts dripping out of here, we know we're at the right level. And that's it, then the job is done. So let's lower the vehicle down, let's get put the oil back in. Okay, so just as before, I've got the filler in the uh, filler hole, up to my funnel, and we've taken out roughly around about 1.1 litres of um, oil. So let's start putting the oil back in it. And as you can see, that has just started to overflow. So we'll wait for that to turn to a drip and we'll put the bung back in. So as you can hopefully see, we've just turned into a drip now rather than a steady stream. So now the oil level is uh, correct. So what's left now is to just put the bung back in. And tying it up, clean the area up. Just get my ratchet in there. All being well. Click, click, that's 43 newtons. Clean the area while it's knocking the camera. Sorry about that. And then all we need to do then is to put the under tray back on. I think my light's dying on me now. Uh, put the under tray back on and put the air box back on and that's it, that's the job done. Okay, so we've got the air box back in. We've obviously put the level bung back in and talked it back up and the under tray's back on. So that's it, that's the job finished. We just need to road test it now. So if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please give me a like, um, give me a comment. And until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon.